Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well, as you saw. I got a new cast iron enameled pot today. Picked this up about a couple hours ago actually, but I had some things I had to do when I got home, so. And then I got a, uh, how many damn quarts is this? Three quart. I think my blue one is a four quart, four or five quart. I think it's a four quart, which is what I deep fry in. And then the red one, the biggest one, I think is a six quart, maybe even an eight quart. It's, it's significantly larger, which I use for chilies and stuff. But uh, I wanted some a little bit more, I commented several times about wanting something a little bit more compact. So and now I have one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something I've kind of done before-ish. Um, I'm making ramen, as you saw the title, but I'm, I'm gonna do like a hot pot style of ramen which is basically adding um, meat and vegetables to ramen, which I did in a saucepan, but because it's cast iron Wednesday and this month challenge is Asian food slash Christmas dinner. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought I would uh, do this. And it's also, it's uh, it was just really cold today. Uh, I think this morning it was 29 degrees, which is cold for Washington, cold for me because I'm a wimp. And uh, a nice hot, nice hot, fluid will hit, hit the spot so I've already rambled right, so let's get one cooking. mushroom here it's a little just a little vegetable oil I'm gonna use a neutral oil just throwing it in there to get it off my cutting board I need to prep the rest of my ingredients before I can even turn this pot on so let's get to it some ginger and garlic but I'm only gonna use half of this because I'm gonna make right, this again so tomorrow night ginger I can move you closer here what you want to do, I'm not going to do this whole thing on camera, but you basically just want to take a spoon and scrape off all the peeling. All right, I'm going to try something I only read about, and that's using a microplane on your ginger. You gotta make sure you don't run your fingers down your, you know, down the plane because that would probably hurt a lot. All right, so burner's on for the mushrooms. Yeah, a little salt. Nothing needs much. I gotta get my daikon prepped right, too. So what I'm gonna so. do with this daikon is just I'm gonna cut it in half, and I'm just gonna shave all the uh, skin off. And I'm just gonna. Cut these up, kind of like a soup, you know, about what you would for soup. Of course, the smaller you cut them, the faster they'll cook. All right. Put some vegetable oil. I'll show you why. I thought I had a little bit more in there. I guess I'll just have to make do. Go ahead and turn this on. Get it heating. I wait for the mushroom. So instead of using just water, I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to do something a little crazy. I'm going to use a cup of uh, a cup of beef broth and a cup of chicken broth. Yeah, I'm mixing meat. And there you go. And that'll be my right, soup base. The, uh, some ginger and garlic in here. All right, so I had a phone call. So I poured the stock in while I was on the phone, and then used uh, my wooden spoon to kind of scrape up all the, the fawn on the bottom of the pan. All right, so we're starting to get a boil. It's not going to take that long for the daikon to uh, 
to cook through. So I'll give it a couple minutes to boil. Check the heat on my skillet here, and I'll show you what I'm going to be cooking. Oh yeah, it's, it should be hot enough. What I picked up were some uh, vegetable spring rolls. I thought those would be good. Let's see if I can. I know I'm going to have to turn these, which is fine. Alright, so, I'm going to throw my ramen in. Get the flavor packet out. Now I did use stock, but I'm still going to put the uh, packet in here. I'll just flip that over. Then it needs, needs the, the king of flavor, MSG. Not too much, just, you know, some. Turn those spring rolls. Yes, uh, pork for hot pot. I'm going to be throwing this in here. Raw. And you throw it in raw because it basically it's so thin. It'll just it'll literally cook in like minutes. Man, the color on these is really nice. Really happy with that. Oop. Finish off the uh, ramen with a little. Well, it was supposed to be a little, so a lot of soy sauce, and then some sesame oil. Gonna give it a nice flavor. Let's get these uh, get these suckers pulled off of here. Go ahead and kill the heat. Got my little. A little drip tray here. Alright, I got this on a silicone pad so I can't really move it around as much. I guess the handles aren't too hot. So, here's my ramen, meat, mushrooms, garlic, ginger, and my spring rolls. Alright, eat a fork. It probably looks like a lot, but it, it's, it's really not, so. Let's see if I overcooked the noodles or not. No, but they're hot. Woo! Man, I'll tell you what. A garlic ginger combo. Love it. Could add a few more veggies in there, but if I actually have an idea that I want to do, um, I don't know about next week, but maybe the week after. Sometime before this month is up. I got something else I want to do. Mm-mm-mm. 
So good, so simple. Nice hot broth, which I'm gonna drink all of and try the spring roll real quick and All right, well, I do thank you for watching um, this month's uh, challenge, Asian food, and also Christmas for the month of November, November, December, excuse me, and uh, playlist for Cast Iron Wednesday will be down in the description, also in the end card, plus last week's video, and I will, I'm going to sit here and enjoy my dinner, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. Have a great rest of your week. We'll catch you in the next one.